We're pleased to be joined by Lee men's basketball coach Bubba Smith after the Flames improved to 4 0 on the year, 2 0 in the GSC as they win 86 to 73 over West Florida. And coach, tonight it was a different player, right? Saturday you had Deion Hendricks and Tim Vaughn get career high in points. How about tonight? Noah Bowler Kyle, 32 points, 13 rebounds, not a bad stat line. What'd you see out of your big man? Well, he, uh, when Noah plays with the motor and, and, uh, He's as good as any big in our league, and so um, you know. And he got going tonight, and I think when it, when a player gets going, it, like their confidence just keeps just starts growing. And uh, and, there, and I think every time he tested, he felt like the rim kept getting bigger and bigger. Mm-hmm. Um, but he, he, like I said, he, he's he's playing with a huge motor. He's not getting tired. He's not giving up a lot on the defensive end. But he's got two point guards that are really finding him as well. And so you got 15 assists out of those two guys tonight. And uh, like I said, Noah did a really good job of rolling and get his head on the rim, running in transition. And our guys are really unselfish and. And they found on tonight. Well, and I think that unselfishness is the key, right? You got guys that like to share the basketball. You had 23 team assists. You mentioned mm-hmm. Beon and JJ really getting the ball distributed. But it just seems like everybody enjoys playing with one another. There seems to be a good culture around this team right now. Well, and again, I think when things are obviously when things are well and you're winning some games, like you feel that way. We know that like the GSC schedule is going to be brutal. It's just going to be really hard. We're going to hit some adversity. First road test coming up this week at Montevallo, and so. Um, you know, we just got to continue to grow and keep getting better and, and keep trusting what we're doing, uh, continue to have a defensive focus as a team. There's going to be nights where offensively we're not as good as we were tonight, um, and we got to rely on our defense and our ability to get stops. <laughs> and this is a team I think that will be committed to that. And you want to get off to a good start in GSC play, but you mentioned obviously going on the road on Saturday. So good start this weekend, but maybe what are some things to focus on moving <laughs> forward in practice? Well, we got to take care of basketball. I mean, I mean, Montevallo is playing a different style, a little bit more like Nova Southeast and, and, and trying to you know, press and pick up full court. And so we got to do a good job of, of taking care of the basketball and getting guys in the right spots um, and just being able to handle adversity and make sure that things don't go well. How do we respond to that? That's going to be really important. Because there's, there's going to be a number of runs in a game, I think, on Sunday that, that will have the potential to see how we respond. And if we respond well, I think we'll be okay. But it's going to be a big test. And to be able to be at the top of the GSC this year, you got to go on the road and win. Mm-hmm. And so we'll, we'll see what we're made of. And, but it, it'll be a big test for us. Well, best of luck on Saturday, Coach. But a lot to celebrate this weekend mm-hmm. as you get off to a good start in GSC play. Wins over Valdosta State on Saturday and tonight against West Florida. Congrats. All right. Thanks, Carmen.